G'day team, Kiwi Craig RC here. We are going to work through installing the Micro Halley three blade uh, DFC head unit onto my good old trusty blade 450 uh, units here. Really nice uh, assembly put together by Micro Halley. Absolutely love my three blade heads. Love their three blade products that they make for a variety of helicopters. Really looking forward to assembling this and then getting it out and test flying it. Okay, let's unpack this sucker and get everything laid out and see what we got. All right, unbagged everything. Really got to say the um, the finish on these uh, latest micro heli parts is really, really superb. It's right up there. Man, these, these guys really are turning out some absolutely lovely parts. I mean, the machining and finish on this stuff is as good as it gets. Absolutely gorgeous parts. They're also running their, um, their uh, sort of Delrin composite material. Um, bushes that they uh, make available for most of their helis. These are really nice, um, very durable, got just the right amount of give, um, but their durability is miles better than the uh, standard sort of rubber products. And the DFC link arms, basically I suspect these are based on their um, 300 heads originally, or the little turnbuckle unit in the center is. Um, I'm running a couple of their uh, DFC heads, 300X heads, um, both the standard profile and low profile. And um, boy, they fly great uh, on those helicopters. So I'm really looking forward to uh, trying this out on the 450X and the extra lift and performance out of the three blade head. It's going to be uh, fun to try out. And as outlined, um, the longer tail blades to help uh, counter the torque coming off the uh, three blade rotor head. All right, we'll get this uh, all assembled, won't take too long, and then we'll uh, get it mounted up on the helicopter, retune, check all the fly baler settings, and then get her out flying. Now that's quite a nifty design. Um, the little stubs, blade grip stubs, are held in with just a pin. Now that little pin, um, pushes into the uh, housing and then it's retained by this little set screw. So if you bent something quite badly in here, take the set screw out and there's a little push hole on the opposite side and you can then just tap the pin out. So not being threaded is actually quite an advantage even if it got damaged or a little bit bent. You can at least get in there, give it a couple of taps and pop it back out. So quite a nice assembly. Anyway, I put a little bit of lube on all the bushes um, and then I will uh, run through and assemble all the pins into the head and then we'll um, revisit the blade grips. Right, okay, so it's all true now. And then drop the uh, locating pin in. All very neat, tight alignment. Of course, now it doesn't want to drop in after the other three went in perfect. All right, let's use a little shock. Okay, basically. Press the pin in, line up the hole, I use a little tool to line up pin, then press in the locating pin. Um, basically you press it down until it seats and then just pull it back ever so slight fraction. And then you get the locating pin in, two millimeter pin. All right, assembly is now ready. We'll, we will just use a low strength, very low strength Loctite on these screws, just to uh, the locator that holds the pin and then we'll assemble the blade grips. All looking good so far. Okay, all the pins are in, all the little locating screws are in. I put those in with a little 
little any touch of uh, triple two purple, which is your weakest Loctite going. Even then, I know that if I wanted to take these out, I would be warming them first with a uh, point of a electric soldering iron to let the Loctite go. It's a very small screw, but there's no way you can run these without some sort of thread locker. All right, little fine coater. I like to put a little bit of grease on all the pins, and now we'll just drop all the blade grips on, and then we will lock tight um, the fixing screws in place into the ends. All right, very nice. All right, just working through assembly of the uh, DFC arms. Really nice little design this, um, and you can see um, bush in bush, so bush in the aluminium arm, and then another pivoting bush that the bolt, the, the fastener goes through. This is really, really nice. Anyway, a little drop of grease into everything, and then uh, we'll keep moving forward. Okay, rotor head's all assembled. Everything's looking nice. All the links flowing very smoothly. All the grips rotating nicely. Now just time to uh, do the assembly onto the uh, airframe. Awesome. All right, rotor head's all on. The... Uh, T-section fit was a very neat fit on the shaft. I really like that. It was very firm. Um, so the bolt really is just locating it. Um, that's excellent. The um, DFC arms, these are a printed part. Very firm fit on the ball joints, yet um, seem to flow nicely as well. Now I'm just going to have to run through the whole swash leveling and blade grip uh, leveling exercise which is a little bit more fiddly with a three blade head so we'll get that all done then we'll get the uh, blades balanced uh, mounted then we'll do some uh, hover and tracking checks and everything else and then she'll be ready to rock and roll all right really nice piece of gear this well looking forward to flying it